Hi, my name is Ashton Brunner with Green Eagle and I'm going to cover today basically how our drive works, how to tighten the drive, how to adjust the belt, how to move the belt backwards and forward. In order to put your drive together, you're going to need the spanner wrench that comes with it. I think I've already covered the spanner wrench in another video, but this is a spanner wrench that we laser cut out just for the Green Eagle. And uh, anyways, it works perfectly for our drive. If you can't find one, all you're looking for is a cannon plug or spanner wrench on the internet and you'll find one. Most of them have a little locking uh, end on them so that they can adjust. You're going to need a 3 16 Allen wrench. 3 16 Allen wrench because that Allen wrench goes on your inserts or your locking plugs right here that are for your drive. You can use any open-end wrench or box-end wrench. What I do with that is it gives me leverage on this little Allen key. You're going to need a half-inch drive ratchet. And the reason you might need this ratchet is so that you can get leverage on your spanner wrench that we made for you. All right, now there's two things to do with this. You can use a half-inch um, half uh, torque wrench, which is great because then you can set the torque at 65 pounds but you need at least 65 pounds back here so you really can't over tighten it we're not too worried about that you're also going to need a ratchet, an adjustable ratchet and a 15 millimeter socket and the 15 millimeter socket is so that it fits on your drive because we covered this as, as it being an eccentric shaft it would be a really turn. nice idea to have a torque wrench this is an inch pound newton meter torque wrench because on these uh, set screws I don't go over 18 foot pounds if you want to know what an inch pound is Divide it by 12 for your inch pound. All right. Okay, as you see on the Green Eagle, this is an engine that's not mounted, obviously. And we've got it all stripped down so that you can easily see the drive. The drive on a Green Eagle is an eccentric shaft drive, which means if you want to tighten the drive, it works like most backpack-powered para uh, paragliders. You take a 15-millimeter socket, and as I turn this, you see how the drive goes up and down. That up and down motion is what tightens your belt. So this, this, you should be able to see the drive go up and down just a little bit. And now it's in its top position and you can also look on the side. We'll do that again from the side of the view. I'll look at the top of the cam where my finger is. See it goes down and then it comes back up. That's how your drive tightens. Now what you also want to notice is when you put a drive together, you don't want to make the castle nut on the back extremely tight. You take it off so you see what the castle nut is. It's a very fine thread. And this whole drive assembly shaft we make, this is your castle nut and this is your castle nut lock washer. And what this does is when you get the castle nut nice in a tight position and you've checked out your belt it looks good you would take one of these tabs and push it down with a screwdriver so that the nut cannot come loose so there you go so let's go ahead and put this back on we'll see show you what the back of the drive looks like it's pretty finely machined here's the back of the drive and as you can see and it's an eccentric shaft like what we showed in the video see the shaft moving up and down All right and it's really well made. These drives cover a one year unlimited warranty. So if you have any questions or you break one, we don't care how you broke it, just, just tell us what you did. We don't ask for to see a prop or anything of that nature. We do ask to, you know, we want to know how you broke it. Right? So when you put in a drive, what you want to normally do is you'll see this notch on the top of the drive. That always goes to the top because as you see the eccentric shaft here, you want it to be down as low as possible. This way the belt will fit on nice and loose. So, we pop this in. And I put a little WD-40 on here to make it a little easier. I go ahead and take the castle nut washer, put that into the groove. It's already there for you, so you can't even put it on wrong. And then we go ahead and put our piece on. Now what you want to do with this is you want to take your laser cut wrench. This is a special wrench, but if you lose it or don't have one, you can get a military style spanner wrench or spanner plug wrench works perfectly most of the stuff you see on the internet has a swivel on the end so that it fits multiple sizes you know multiple size uh, uh, cannon plugs basically so what we're going to do is we're going to loosely just snug it a little bit but we're not going to snug it so tight that we can't move it so let's make sure we can move it 
There we go. And we can still move it with no problem. Now the reason why you want it snug is so that you can tighten your belt down and not have it shifting around on you. All right. So now we've got the top of the drive, made sure everything is good to go and clear. So now we're going to move the engine around. Now you notice this drive plate, this is a half inch thick aluminum plate. And the way it's designed, we've got a few little nice sexy curves there for you. And the extra holes and slots are for some of our other engines that we use this drive for. So now this drive is a straight shaft, or this engine is a straight shaft. This is the engines we prefer because most of these straight shaft engines have larger crankshafts larger bearings, uh, they're industrial, you know, so anyways, uh, this is what we prefer. So, we've got our belt. You can hang the belt on if you want. I normally don't. You have a keyway. Now, our keyway is a little different from most. If you lose one, this is nothing more than 3 8 key material. So you can find this anywhere. What I like to do is I like to sand it a little bit on both sides so that it pops down into the crank key relatively easy. I don't want it to be sloppy, but I do want it to go on there. Now another thing we've done that nobody else has done, and I hate to share this, but we weld this little tab on the back and the reason why we weld that little tab on the back is so that the key can never come out. Once this drive is assembled, this key cannot come off unless the drive completely comes apart somehow. And we've never had that happen in three years. So, here we go. So we'll go ahead and put the key on, check it out, and then uh, have your handy dandy can of WD-40 around. and make sure it fits. Okay, it looks like it's fitting by hand. See how I push it on by hand. Let me turn the engine sideways again. It should fit on by hand like this. And that way what you can use is you can use a hammer and a drift pin to push it backwards and forwards. You shouldn't have to force anything. It should be nice and tight but not have to force it. So, we can leave the, P the key in place. Now, we've got to take our main drive lower hub, our, our main lower drive pulley, and the lower drive pulley uh, is designed to fit on our tapered shaft. This is called a taper lock bearing. So, in order to get the right side, we want to look for the hole, the half moon holes that are drilled in here. And you see these little half moon holes right here. Let me come up close to the camera. You see these little half moon holes. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting, and it's also anodized in black. And then you take your collar, you slide your collar in, and you want your collar to line up. It actually <laughs> already tries to lock in there. You want your collar to line up to where these two half moon cuts, let's see we keep turning until we find a match. Okay, see that's two, now this is a big problem that a lot of